collectors, if you like tile placement, collecting mushrooms, and cute little gnomes, then you're going to want to check out Gnome Hollow. Let's take a look at how this one plays. In this game, players will be taking on the roles of gnomes who are trying to build little mushroom rings in order to score the most points. Uh, this board has already gotten a lot of tiles in it from a recent play, um, but I did reset these boards here to show you a little bit of what it will look like. So you can either play the standard game where you're just trying to make rings of certain sizes in order to move the ring markers down and get some bonuses, or you can play the advanced game where you have some options of making rings of certain sizes, but you also have the options of making rim rings of exact shapes in order to, again, move those rings down and score those bonuses. Basically, any time that a player has their turn, they're going to place two of the tiles out from this board, and they have to make sure that paths connect to paths and grassy areas connect to grassy areas. Then if they do happen to finish a ring, they'll count up how many uh, of tiles that make up that ring or look for a specific shape, depending on what type of the game you're playing. And if they already have claimed that ring, then they'll be able to move their rings down and they'll be able to get some kind of bonuses so they might get signpost bonuses where they'll be able to get some more mushrooms and possibly make a trade in order to get exactly what they're looking for they might be able to grab a tile for a future turn they might be able to get some flower pots which will help them score points or they might be able to collect bonus mushrooms instead of just what was on the path for them in the first place as well if players move down enough of their ring markers as well. They'll also collect wildflower bonus tiles, which look like this, where they'll be able to use those as wilds as well later on in the game. Then the last thing a player will do on their turn is optionally move one of their gnomes. They can claim a uh, unstarted ring or a finished ring if it doesn't have a gnome on it and hasn't had the mushrooms collected off of it. And that way, when that ring is completed, they'll be able to claim all of the rewards associated with that. They can go to the stump in order to sell mushrooms that they've collected and turn those in for treasures or points. Or they can go and get wildflowers, which they'll put on top of their boards as long as they don't have that color already. And then at the end of the game, they'll get points for those. Or they can also um, just access a signpost that is already out to collect and possibly make trades, depending on if you're using that variant board or not. Players don't have to move their gnomes if they're happy where they are, but a lot of times it is very useful to move those gnomes to get some other bonuses. The game will end when a player has either moved all eight of their ring tokens down onto their board, or collect it eight flower pots, or the bag of tiles runs out. Then players will add up points for how many ring tokens that they've removed, how many flower pots they have, and any treasure tokens they have from having sold mush mushrooms, and then the player with the most points wins. This game had a lot going on. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of the negative notes that I had out of the way first. Um, I thought that the visibility of the game overall suffered a little bit. There's a lot of different paths on the tiles. There's a lot of mushrooms on those paths, and the gnomes also sit on those paths as well throughout the game. And I did think that that made some parts of the board a little bit difficult to, to see, especially when you also add in putting out the signposts for more bonuses and gnomes going to those signposts and standing all around it. Um, sometimes, depending on like how the paths are kind of laid out, it can make things a little difficult to see at times. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating. I also thought the game was a lot longer than I kind of anticipated. The box just has a hard 45 minutes on it, um, and most of my games, if not all of them, took over that, even at only a two-player count. So I did think that it was a little bit long, and because of that, turns kind of got a little tedious because it was just repetitive turn after turn, and it felt like it could have been a little bit shorter. That said, I do like... The look of this game, the art is gorgeous, and like how it looks on the table as you're making all those paths is really fun, especially if you're playing the advanced variant and you're making the very specific shapes, that can be really fun as well. Um, and I thought that like the options that you had were pretty good turn to turn. There is some luck in how the tiles come out, and if you can't get the quite the right tile that you need, that can be kind of annoying, but I do think that you have some good options for that, especially if you're not playing the advanced, then you don't have to make certain shapes. You can just kind of lay out different sized rings to try and maybe speed up that part of the game and get as many rings as you can for points. Or you can really focus on flower pots and getting those for points. Um, either way, like I said, there's a lot of good choices that you can make on your turns. Um, but there, And I really do like that you can't place tiles 
connected to other players claimed paths that's really nice so that somebody can't just close up your ring that you're already that you've already been working on and then kind of steal that reward from you they have to ask your permission and you probably won't give it to them if it's gonna complete your ring and not let you complete it yourself so i thought that was a really really nice touch for a game like this so it definitely has its highs and lows um i i liked it but it was a little bit too long for my taste to come back to super frequently but you can check out my full thoughts on the blog today to see if this one might be for you